game. Well, we've just been to the town of Soyer and now we've come down to the port of Soyer. Uh, the sun's shining, it's come out, it's uh, January the 29th. It's been a very, very cold morning, uh, but now the sun's out, it's starting to feel a little bit warmer. Uh, so we've come down to the beach and I think uh, Luna's got her pocket in spade. So she's going to play in the sand, we're going to have a little look around Puerto de Soyer and there's a few people around already. And then we'll go and have a look for some lunch. She's eager to get off to the beach with Nana. We actually, we went down to the beach yesterday in Son Caliu and the sea was dead calm. It was hardly a ripple on there. And here in Soyer, in Puerto de Soyer, uh, we can see that there's it's actually some waves. And that's because the, the wind is actually coming directly through that opening between the, the two rocks there. So there is a bit of a breeze coming in. It's a sort of a, a northwesterly breeze, I guess. And uh, it's, it's quite a chilly breeze. But, uh, Luna seems to be happy on the beach. And Nana's happy on the beach. She's taking her towel down. I don't know if she's going for a swim later on. I very much doubt it. Um, we have seen, I've seen when we first arrived there was uh, someone paddling there in the sea and uh, just as we were walking from the car park there were two lads who'd obviously been in the water I guess they'd been windsurfing or, or uh, snorkeling they have both got wetsuits on uh, it's a bit chilly I think uh, but there are one or two people playing on the sand so normally when we come to Puerto de Soya, yeah, we'll walk to the right there and follow the port round to the, the port where the boats are. Um, I'm just going to have a little walk to the left, which is not the way I usually go. In fact, I don't think I've ever been down this way. I can see someone in the distance in a kayak paddling away. I think I saw them in the distance as well. The problem with so yeah it really is that the the sun is in the south and it's very low down and so it gets uh, a shadow of the mountains until the the sun's got above a certain height and because we're in january it's not really going to get that high it's a little torrente here which has actually got some water flowing down from the mountains We've not had a lot of rain recently but uh, there's obviously enough to bring some fresh water into the sea. If I'm going to go any further, I've got to cross the bridge. I have just put my mask on because you need to have a mask on. But here's the Torrente, a little stream that's coming, bringing water down from the mountains. And flowing into the, into the sea. I think in previous videos people have said to me to, to take this route. Maybe I've chosen the wrong time of the year because uh, places are closed up for the, the time being. This is the Hotel Marina and the Hotel Marina Wellness and Spa and its restaurant are opening on the 12th of February, so we've not actually got very long to wait because it's already the, the 29th of January. So, just another couple of weeks, and uh, the hotel will be opened up. So, it'll be interesting to come back in a few weeks' time and have a look at the difference because I think it'll be quite different here on the promenade when uh, the hotel's open, people are actually uh, staying there, and it'll bring a little bit more life the area but I also find it interesting I find it fascinating to, to see what these places are like in the depths of winter we are in the depths of winter now uh, we've had what the newspapers are recording as one of the coldest winters on record um, minus four was recorded yesterday 
um, not too far from where we are right now. When we landed in, uh, in the town of Soyer, it felt really cold and we saw one thermometer which was saying 8 degrees, which if you're in Mallorca, 8 degrees is really cold. I know those people who are in different parts of the world will say 8 degrees feels like a summer temperature. Well, if you're in Mallorca, 8 degrees is pretty cold. But uh, as soon as we get into a little bit of sunshine, you just like night and day, it's, the temperature suddenly goes up. And uh, particularly in places like a car park where the ground's black and it's absorbing all of that sunshine and, uh, and then radiating the heat, um, it really does feel quite warm. So this is, uh, is the, the beach that we don't come to or we haven't come to in the past and maybe it's one which we will come to in the future. Uh, because there are lots of things all closed at the moment, but uh, I'm anticipating will be opening very shortly. The hotel opening, uh, then the businesses start to open up as well. And they work really hard in the summer months, so they deserve a rest. And uh, winter time is when they, when they have their rests. In the days when we used to go skiing, we used to go skiing in the winter time, we used to find people who worked in the hotels in the summer in places like Parmanova and Magaluf or anywhere else in Mallorca, they would end up working in the hotels in the ski resorts. So they went from one place to another. Family there having their barbecue. There was a fire lit and some sort of animal splayed out that had been over the fire. I came over here just to have a look to see if there was anything open at all and there's absolutely nothing. So definitely somewhere to come back to. Lots of signs of work being done with uh, netting up and fencing up. So there's lots of work being done so hopefully they'll get all of that finished before the tourists arrive and, uh, and then, uh, then it'll look a lot prettier. And I was looking on the Google Maps, um, you can go around on the headland there, there's a road which you can drive or walk and right up to, to the lighthouse and you'll get some different views of uh, Puerto de Soyer. It is a really picturesque place. And here I am standing just at uh, one side uh, looking over the other side. So I'm going to make my way back uh, to Anita and Serena and the girls and then we'll go and uh, investigate a little bit more of Puerto de Soyer and uh, see if we can actually find somewhere that's open where we can have uh, Anita and Luna are going to come up off the beach and then we'll go and search for a restaurant where we can have our lunch. A lot of seagulls uh, just sitting on the sea, bobbling around. Looks as though they're enjoying the sunshine. There's more and more joining them. So we're going to head off in this direction and uh, I'll turn the camera off for the first bit and then turn it on when we uh, come across it of interest. So we're just starting our little walk along the front here and uh, start to hear the waves crashing. So. They're only little waves here, it's very very small waves so it's, it's, if you're actually swimming you're not going to be worried about those and it is a fairly safe place to swim. On the right hand side We've come up to the first of the restaurants, which is actually open, and uh, the tables are set so very much in the shade. It's going to be a bit cold sitting on those tables outside. Uh, at the moment, a little bit damp as well. You can see, maybe if you look at the floor, you can see that it's, um, it's quite damp because the, the sun's not managed to get around yet. The sun's on its way around, so. Uh, a little bit later on, so there's a few people already inside there. It's probably the best place 
but we're going to be walking a little bit further and as we do so we'll be looking out for places of interest and uh, one of the places of interest which is looks as though it's been refurbished it's got all the netting in front of it the scaffolding in front of it and this is the perfect time of the year for them to be doing uh, the renovation work uh, so that it's ready for when the season starts and uh, they use this netting everywhere sometimes they put pictures on the netting there's no pictures on this netting it's just netting to prevent the, the dirt and dust spreading any further and uh, the hotel is actually a splendido is uh, is all being done up tidied up cleaned up and um, that's going to be ready for the season so when we were in so yeah we, i was talking about the railway which brings passengers from palma uh, plaza Spania and palma all the way to uh to so yeah town so yeah village and then if you want to come down it's uh it's a san francisco type tram but clearly the the trams are not running at the moment this is all taped off and there's obviously no way a tram can be going through this part so the trams are not running at the moment so it's public transport which we saw buses going to uh so yeah town and there'll be another bus which will bring you down to the port I'm saying that without confirmation because I really don't know. Um, coming up to another restaurant. Uh, and uh, it's open. And they've got um, a terrace out at the front, an upper terrace. And they've got a heater, heaters on the terrace there to help keep their clients warm. And I hope you like the sound of the sea crashing against the beach because that's what the background noise is here. And now, having felt really quite chilly in uh, the town of Soyer, walking along the front and we're now getting the sun on our backs, it's beginning to feel quite warm. Very, very comfortably warm. Delicatessen's open. And it smells good too. As we walk further along, you see more people. It's like lemons on the tree. Very pleasant walk. This is the sort of walk I like when we're in in Mallorca, ones where it's nice and flat, easy walking, and uh, with things to see, people to see. And he likes the shops, the cycle place over there. You can go and rent your bicycle. And boats to look at. I always like to look at the boats, so there's one or two moored in the middle here, and then we'll, we'll actually come round to the port where there'll be lots of boats. It is a really strange time of the year for knowing what to wear and what to put on. So. Originally, I thought uh, I only needed to wander around in my shirt sleeves, and when we got to, so yeah, it was very chilly. So uh, I've got a jumper on, and I've got a little jacket on, and uh, I definitely needed it. Now I've come down to the port. At first, I thought, yeah, I'm going to need that jacket. And now I'm almost regretting it. Very, very warm. Some of the bar here, Caspages. 
Our restaurant, they've got tapas. Always like tapas. They're open. Well, we found a place called, what's it called? La Bodeguita. And we're going to have some, some lunch here. I'll show you the lunch as we work through it. I'm not sure what we're going to have yet. We've not seen any menus, but they do do tapas. And uh, I do like a tapa. So, let's see. Just like most of our restaurants that we go to, we start with bread and alioli and olives. Nobody likes olives. But you? Except me. <laughs> Looks in today. So, first up we have are the albondigas. Uh -uh, chorizo. This is chorizo. Yep, yeah, that's your spicy. Oh, these are the spicy inferno. And then we've got some patatas bravas as well over there, They're like uh, chips uh, with a, a spicy sort of sauce. So these are the really hot chorizo. Our next plate is a pepito de lomo, which has come with a few chips. Pepito de lomo is uh, pork, loin pork. It's got some cheese on this as well. Oh, it looks quite delicious. I'm going to share this. Luna's got her spaghetti now, uh, spaghetti al pesto. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have some croquetas de bacalao with some potatoes, they're nice. Uh, that was a very nice lunch and uh, we're going to just continue our walk a little along the frontier in Puerto de Soyer. And uh, you can hear the, you can see perhaps the waves, not only gentle waves, a bit noisy at times, but uh, we've been looking at the, the waves, you can't perhaps see it on the video here, but on the rocks on, uh, in the distance they're really bashing up there and some big waves are smashing against those rocks so it is quite rough out there. But this is a very very sheltered bay, it's uh, uh, almost, almost circular with a very narrow entrance. So the boats that are moored here, it's, uh, they are well protected. But I think out, outside of that entrance might be a little bit rougher. Well, it's, uh, it's lunchtime now and uh, people are actually queuing up to go into some of the restaurants once they're open. children playing on the beach there right by the water's edge they've got no shoes and socks on so i guess they're paddling as well mm, it might be a bit cool for that you will notice i'm sure that uh, quite a few of the not yet open. This will all come to life. End of February, March as we run into Easter time. And it's popular with locals, popular with uh, people on the island, so some of the places do stay open all the year round. And people who've got their boats here as well. So. The port always draws, draws people. Actually, I'm quite surprised how many people are looking at the beach in front of me. There are a lot of people <laughs> sitting on the beach, soaking up the rays.
I've lost them. There they are walking along with the rumours on the wall. In the distance I can see the smoke billowing into the sky from, uh, from a fire that's on the hill there, somebody burning some rubbish. There are some quite strict laws here in Mallorca about when you can actually light fires and burn rubbish because it's very easy for those flames to to spread to the pine forests and so during the winter time you're allowed so pretty much from November uh, through to, to March and then after that uh, we'll have limitations on what you can actually do in terms of fires. The girls have caught up with me. Interesting sign here. This is the, the beach if you want to rent uh, a bed. It's 665, bench and an umbrella. That's 1150. Uh, and that actually includes a, a locker of some sort. And an 1815 for two beds and a a parasol with a, a locker. And the girls have got in front of me now. A little bit of catching up to do. See quite a few people actually on the beach. And lots of people in the restaurants. It's lunchtime. Five past three. The Fergus Hotel closed up at the moment. And we're now just approaching the port. I'm noticing a little park there, so I think Luna may want to go into the park. She has been very good walking. Here comes Anita pushing Savannah. Anna's been very good, she's wide awake. There's a little park there, might want to play in. Right by the port. Well, and he's just missed, bumped into Diane and Margaret from uh, from Soyer. 
and uh, they reckon that we go to lemon pie dining next time we're here. So that's somewhere we've got to look out for. Uh, apparently they do very typical English afternoon teas. Run by so, Sally. Run by? Sally. Run by Sally. So that'll have to be next time because we've already eaten today. Um, but I think we will be here uh, in the next few weeks. Uh, certainly when our family come out for Easter, that would be a good time for us to come up here because I'm sure uh, they would love, love this beach and uh, it's another nice walk for us. You can see the beach is quite busy now and it's quite unbelievable. It is January 29th and uh, temperatures now, having been very cold this morning, are warm enough for people to go onto the beach and uh, for some of them to actually venture into the sea. Not me though. <laughs> well we've walked along here once so I'm going to turn the camera off now and Well, we've had a really nice walk along the front here in uh, Puerto de Soyer and uh, we've all done our 10,000 steps so I think we deserve a little bit of a rest. Uh, so we're going to head off home now so thanks for watching and uh, if you like this uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, give us a thumbs up and leave any comments down below in the YouTube channel and we'll sure reply to you. Thanks for watching and bye for now. Bye.